Jessie Draper, the Valley Girl. Valley Girl. What does your company do? Have you ever Googled yourself? Totally. What makes a great entrepreneur? What's your next big idea? Tweeting's like my favorite. Let's talk business. I'm like the Valley Girl. 96, 97, 98, 99, dresses. Let's talk business. 99 Dresses is a fashion technology company offering women a platform to share their clothes and in essence create an infinite closet of their own. They are a Y Combinator company. Nikki Durkin is the Australian founder and CEO of 99 Dresses. Well, I'm like the Valley Girl and here we are with Nikki Durkin of 99 Dresses. Welcome, Nikki. I'm so happy to have you on the show. Thanks so much for having me. It's great. <laughs> I've been, you know, I've been, I've heard about you. I was telling you before, I've heard about you through at least three or four different people. And 99 oh. dresses. Yes, I love them. <laughs> I love them. Um, you know, their product is like crack for women. Oh, it is. I was like, you have to get this girl. <laughs> she's, she's Aussie and she's like incredible and she has started this amazing dress company. Okay, what is 99 dresses? So basically we're trying to create an infinite closet of free fashion for girls, so I had this problem. You can't go wrong with an infinite I, I closet. I know, it's like every girl's fantasy is what I've always wanted. You know, like in that scene Clueless where Cher has like, <laughs> she's got this closet and it's just like endless and it's all digitized and everything. I'm going to create that. But um, so basically I, when I was 16, I was looking in my a wardrobe and I'm like, I don't wear 80-90% of this stuff and it's perfectly good. And yet, I spend thousands of dollars a year on new clothes, and I don't get rid of all of this I old think stuff. Everyone has that. Everyone yeah, has it's that the closet, closet full of clothes with nothing to wear problem. Yeah. And um, I was just like, oh, this is so inefficient. But what I want is just like, I want to be able to shop, like, you know, every single day, guilt free and everything. So, um, so I had this idea uh, to create 99 dresses. And I went to a boarding school at the time, and girls okay, like. Tell me about this boarding school because you went to it was what's it called? Kam Kambala. 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 Yeah, yeah. And it's a very prestigious boarding school in yeah, Australia. Yeah, it's, it's one of the best ones in Oz. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I got um yeah I got a, <laughs> I was a country girl actually so I grew up in um Berry, which is a little town on the south coast of um. Okay, a country girl in Australia yeah. is a foreign concept. To me. <laughs> Does that mean you're on a farm with like um, kangaroos? I wasn't. Or, <laughs> into the infinite closet and then you sell them to other girls for a virtual currency called buttons and then you can spend the buttons on anything else you want in the infinite closet so basically you're getting rid of all the stuff that you don't want and getting this currency and then once you have that currency it's kind of like you can go shopping for free and things just like show up on your doorstep it's super fun <laughs> so, okay so you can share you share clothes like this and the virtual currency is just brilliant these days by the way as Thank far you. as everyone <laughs> is concerned did you do that or like was that yeah, yeah that was in the front, like originally um, we were using a virtual currency because I'm like, what's a way that, you know, I, I don't necessarily want to sell stuff for cash, um, but what's a way to actually like trade stuff equitably? Right, And right. the kind of a virtual currency seemed like, an, you know, like I kind of feel like people do. too with virtual currency, they don't realize, I mean, this is kind of a weird thing to say, but like, they don't realize how much they're spending, so they'll well, buy Well, it's true, like, but, but it's also because, um, you know, like, with cash, you could spend on anything. You can spend on your rent, or you can spend it on clothes, or you can spend it on food. Oh, yeah. Whereas with the virtual currency, it's kind of like you have to spend it on clothes. So it's kind of oddly liberating, you know? Yes, like actually, <laughs> in way, actually, in a way, I didn't even think about this. They are saving money. You know, girls are saving money by using this service yeah. because they're like, this is how much they could actually say, in my, you know, in here's how much I make, here's how much I'm spending on clothes, and here's how much I'm allowed to spend on clothes. Yeah. And they get infinitely more with yeah. your service. Yeah, and the, the idea is also that, you know, um, once, once you list an item, it stays in the system forever, so if you buy an item from me, it'll go into your virtual closet, and then and it's in kind of just like in use mode, which means it's not for sale, but if you like wear, say, this dress, and then you get bored of it, and you're like, oh, I want something new, you can just relist it in a click, and it can go on to someone else, and then you spend your buttons on getting like a brand new dress that you can wear on the next Valley Girl show. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. So, explain how this works one more time. I'm going to get I'm going to get my closet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Very pink. It is very very pink. Okay. So, here's my closet. So, say, you know, I'm like, "Oh, 
I don't know. I haven't worn this in a few seasons. Yeah. So what do I do with it? Okay, so you can snap a photo of it and you just um, upload it. You fill in a few quick details on the site. Okay. Um, we're going to have an iPhone app soon as well. Ooh, we'll that's Android as well. Yeah. So uh, you just upload it and then you say, I want a certain amount of buttons, maybe like 20 buttons. So what, okay, so how many, what's 20 buttons okay, like so exactly? What do you feel buttons like? Buttons can all, always be purchased for a dollar each, so that's kind of what they're liking to. Um, but we suggest a price on the site, but you can always change it. Um, okay. It's all market driven. If so you, this would be like 20 buttons. So how much would be like a dress? Because a shirt is a dress. Well, it depends on the brand, but you know, if you're looking at Banana Republic, it might be like 40 buttons like secondhand banana republic or okay. something like that okay um there's a lot of re like range on the side as well like there's a lot of fast fashion all the way up to you know like really design a nice stuff as well so that's so um, great but it's just dresses at the moment we're going to be opening up other categories soon Ooh, yeah. that's exciting <laughs> lots of girls like shoot 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 okay so you're a y combinator company yeah. so what what is y combinator so y combinator is um i think they call it like an accelerator rather than an Better, yeah. But um, they give you a small amount of investment and pay a small amount of the company, and then you go to like office hours um, for a three month period where you can kind of get help from any of the partners. Um, and also, you go to like a dinner each week, and they bring in like an awesome speaker to come and speak. And, right. um, and it's a and 10 week program, right? Yeah, I think it's 10 weeks, it's, three months. It's ish. incredible. I mean, I honestly believe in every single company that comes out of there. I don't know what they do, they like give you this magic pixie dust. <laughs> entrepreneurial drive um i think like i've always been a really creative person so i was very into like oil painting sewing like ceramics all this kind of stuff when i was younger and i my parents are very much kind of like of the philosophy if you want something you gotta like work for it and earn it and they're very much into like um you know make financial literacy and, and kind of getting off your ass and doing something yeah and so i think they really kind of like fostered it so but you know we'd come up with the ideas and my parents would kind of give us guidance in terms of like what to do with it so you and you've always sewed right you, you yeah i d yeah i've done a little bit i used to make a few dresses and stuff i took some classes in um in uh in high school but well, mainly I art mainly <laughs> art <laughs> well, i was like hoping art. you could teach us how to sew on i would try and sew on a button <laughs> So I was hoping you could teach us how to do this. This is a piece of my new dress that I'm making and I wanted to sew on a giant button. A giant button, okay. Yes. I wonder if there's gonna be like actual haberdashery fans out here who are gonna scold me on like what? <laughs> Doing I'm sorry, button, right? Can you define habitat? Haberdashery, like buttons and other things. Is that what it's and 
what do you see being sort of the trends in the future? Well, obviously, like, I'm a big fan of collaborative consumption. The way women consume fashion is really inefficient if you think about it. If you think about it, there's so much. And so there's yeah. like, I'll spend my scholarship money from my uh, university oh, degree no. on clothes because it's just this addictive thing. So I think there's, there's going to be, um, you know, someone's going to figure out how to make that more efficient. I think that someone's going to be us. Yeah. Um, 99 dresses right here. <laughs> um, <Collaborative consumption. laughs> And also because like there's hardly any girls in the tech, in the tech scene, world. so it's I like there's so, many, like, there's so many like no girls in tech fashion problems or just like women problems or like women's needs that aren't addressed. So you know if girls want to get into tech, they should because there's so much opportunity I there know. to solve these problems. And do you have that thing? I go to like events. I'll go to business or tech events, and I'm literally the only girl. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll walk into a room and I'll be like, there's 60 men. But it, it's funny awesome. because like. Some girls kind of like have a bit of a whine about that. No oh, inequality, blah blah blah. But it's like, shush! It's like awesome. You get like way more attention. Like you know, like people actually talk to you because you're a girl, and so you get your message across. And like as I said, there's so much opportunity. It's like I'm not gonna whine about the fact that oh, no. there's hardly any girls. I'm like it's like you know in a selfish kind of way. No, it's, it's great. It's good if you are a girl because you stand out naturally. Like, what is one piece of advice you would have for other women starting companies? Um, I think just do it. Like, I think there's a lot of ways you can like manually test your idea, like test people's behavior um, using platforms such as like you know Pinterest or Facebook or just you know like manually test stuff and watch their behavior and then go and actually like get a tech co-founder and and work together with them to actually kind yeah, of. Yeah, I like, think it's really important to have a, a co-founder. I'm like the Valley Girl. And I'm like Nikki Deffet of 99 Dresses. Wait, hold on. Right there. Wait, right there. <laughs> That's so I had to bring 99 Dresses. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Okay. And now it's time for your dits moment. Okay, so what do I say? Uh, okay, I'm like the valley girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got really early today. Okay.